guys great to have you back again I thought I'd uh, put something up about the half raven kit which I've just installed in the RV14 Julia Tango Oscar I've been wanting to do this for a while I've been finding that doing any inverted flight it causes a lot of oil leakage through the breather and so finally I got a chance to do this two weeks ago I went down south with a uh, travel permit of course and um, we did an annual and we installed the half raven kit and um, didn't get to test it unfortunately because the westerlies got up and, and it's, it's impossible to fly in the westerlies but um, we ended up getting a flight um, a, a week ago I did a test flight down there and uh, happy to report it was fantastic great success very little oil coming out I think we had I, I had one drop on my finger when I um, when I uh, uh, landed and this was after about 15 minutes of the plane sitting in the hangar so Bill the hangar guy was very happy with that any questions post them I'll see if I can answer them I'm not overly technically minded but uh, if I can't I'll find out for you um, also shout out to the uh, RV website on the on the Facebook I posted my plane Julia Tango Oscar on there and there was a fantastic reception uh, wonderful guys thanks so much I look forward to looking at all of your footage. Um, so what I'm also going to do is um, I have a few things in my garage here in Sydney that might interest the uh, small aviation enthusiasts. So I'll take you around there for a look and you might enjoy that. All right, well, let's head down in our time machine two weeks ago down south uh, and have a look at the installation. And um, I will see you back in Sydney soon. guys so um, we've been grounded for a while now because of COVID and it's getting pretty bad but vaccinations are on their way and we're at 80% first doses here in New South Wales so we're looking forward to opening up again very soon. So I'm just doing my annual and I noticed one of the guys um, made a comment that um, he couldn't hear the engine, the, the, the iOS 390 because of this music over and so on so I thought why not throw in a grab here. So just running up the engine now to get the oil warm and then we'll drop the oil out. So um, I'll put a, a bit of the uh, iOS 390. Once we warm up a bit, I'll do a bit of, uh, I'll throw up a few revs and see what you think. Keeping very cool actually, still on 49. rods for the aileron so we're just pulling that inspection hatch off um, and uh, yeah get on to the next thing shortly so Brett what have you had to do here pull half the engine apart to put a fitting in so for the RV14 putting the half raven in, you've got to pull all of the intakes out. Great fun. Anyway, we're getting there. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, Saturday morning. Uh, sorry, Friday morning. Lost a day. Uh, we didn't get that done in the end we um, found that there were too many fittings that wouldn't fit so 
where the breather comes out we've got to get a 45 um, the the fittings that came with the raven kit wouldn't work here for us so we need a 45 there and then uh, although we've got this pipe working quite nicely running through the front of the engine we just feel that this radius here is is too sharp so we want to we've got a 45 now to go up in that area so with a bit of luck the rest of the airplane is done and checked and panels are back on so uh, we should get this baby sorted out the next few hours ready to fly although the weather's turned foul so I don't know if I'll be flying today but uh, just excited to get it done Good morning, it's um, actually day three. We got everything done last night. Got the, uh, the half raven kit in. Um, so I've just thought I'd come out this morning, early Sunday, beautiful day, see if I can just test it. But unfortunately, the westerlies have got up so quickly. Um, and here at uh, Shell Harbor, we're right on the, the escarpment with the sea behind us. If you look over there, you can see that ridge there, so we get the west westerlies coming over those and it just turns into the most horrendous turbulence, just not worth flying, especially if you're sort of testing anything, doing an engine test or anything. So I think we're just going to have to run the engine, see if we get any oil leaks and um, hopefully be back in a few days if we can. That'll capture the oil when we're inverted. Um, and it's, again, it's only the half raven system, we can go for the full, but we can add to the full, which is not too difficult to do. But I think for my sorts of aerobatics, that'll be adequate. So we're going to test that out and see how much oil leakage we'll get. Um, try and reduce that oil leakage, and, and obviously from a safety point of view, it just stops that engine shut off if you do go negative G by mistake, which is not really the intention. We're more looking at zero G or it's going to be negative maybe minus one just for a few seconds so that's where we are so we're just going to start her up and, and see how she goes and uh, hopefully be back soon to do an actual test flight and get some G's going up there all right let's get on with it well we got that oil pressure within seconds so that's a good thing um, so it looks like uh, we don't have any leaks or we'll find out, but uh, that was the main thing to check that the whole new oil system is working. So we're just going to run it and, and warm it up and see what happens. I should have really done the start so you could see how the new, the new um, EarthX battery goes. I replaced the original, um, I think it was an Odyssey battery, because that thing would hardly crank the um, 390 over. With the new EarthX, which is a... Um, uh, lithium battery it spins the thing almost as if you could take off so I'm very happy with that and it's working beautifully looking across the field you can see the the windsock over there um, that's uh, westerly dead westerly and it's coming straight across those ridges causing all sorts of mayhem at the airport as a result there's no planes flying today what a shame on such a beautifully blue sky day but that's uh, life on the coast when you've got a ridge right there. For those of you who stick around... Molly, come here. Molly. The dog's gone nuts. <laughs> 